Homer J. Nick here with a summary update at the end of week 3 on season 11 on the Xbox One version of Diablo 3. Uh, this video is for the leaderboards on the Xbox One. I've done some videos in the past for the PS4 and a few requested if I could put the Xbox One stats up. So a user has kindly emailed me the stats uh, at the end of uh, Thursday night, so for the end of week 3 of season 11. This video just presents the top 5 on each class on the solo leaderboards and the top 3 in the group leaderboards uh, for both hardcore and softcore. At the end of this video there's a comparison of how uh, the Xbox One users uh, are doing against their fellow PS4 Diablo 3 players uh, for the end of week 3. So without further ado, let's have a look at the softcore solo leaderboards for the Xbox One. So let's start off with the Wizards and Softcore on the Xbox One. As we can see, the top five entries at the end of week three, all with the Manal Tier Lightning Wizards, had cleared in a very impressive GR100. What's that? Only the second class to break the 100 barrier so far uh, in week three on the Xbox One. So the top player there uh, has cleared a GR100. Now, which doctors seem popular on Xbox One? We have a GR95 cleared in softcore at the end of week 3 uh, and again dominated in the top 5 spots by one build, the LON Spirit Barrage uh, build for the Witch Doctor. So the user there has cleared a 95. Uh, the Necros, the newest class in the game on Xbox, has cleared 105. The Tragula Lance, which we expect to be the top build at the end of the season, is clearing 105 on the Xbox One and as as we can see it certainly has um, uh, huge amounts of clears uh, above all the other classes so far in week 3. I wonder what it's going to do by the end of season. But Necros on Xbox One at the end of week 3 have cleared 105. Uh, the Monk one's quite interesting. Uh, on PS4 the LON LTK is the top build but for the Xbox One the Son Wuko LTK with the sweeping wind stack mechanism is top spot with a GR91 uh, in soft core. Uh, so that is the Monks. Uh, no surprise again, Demon Hunters, all Shadow and Pale, top 5. I don't know what's going on with the Demon Hunter soft core players on, uh, on Xbox One at the end of week 3, given how many primals every player has there. Uh, so yeah, they've cleared a 96 uh, at the end of week 3 on Xbox One. Now Crusaders, all hammered in. Um, very impressive 96 so far. Um, very good build. Uh, that certainly will push higher. So the Crusaders at the end of week 3 on Xbox One cleared a 96. Uh, and the Barbs, well they're outperforming the Monks so they're not last so that's good. So uh, Leak Quick Barb have done a 92 uh, in soft core at the end of week 3. So that's the the stance on uh, Xbox One for the softcore solo leaderboards. What about the group setup in softcore? Let's have a look at that. So here's the softcore groups. Let's start with the two man. Uh, they've cleared 103 um, with a support barb and, and a necro. And interestingly, you don't see this on on the PS4, but there's a support monk and a hammered and underneath it also on 103. So no necro. So uh, that is impressive since Necro seemed to be dominating um, uh, group setup uh, on on PS4. So the Xbox One guys, there's a monk and a hammer and cleared 103 already in softcore, which is impressive. Uh, the three man setup, we have 105 clear with the monk support support monk, the 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 Necro and a hammerden. Um, so that is 105. And the four man setup. Uh, I'm slightly confused by the four-man setup. I wonder why um, it's only cleared 107. I know there's a, a fair amount of very good players on Xbox One, uh, and there's healthy competition on the PS4 softcore four-man group setup, but they've cleared 115, which is eight GR levels. So the guys on Xbox One have cleared 107. I assume they're just not pushing just yet. Still early on uh, in the season, perhaps players don't need to push. Uh, just as much as they continue to refine their builds, build up their Paragon, and get their legendary gems up. I, I don't know, perhaps Xbox One users can let me know. 
uh, maybe they're just waiting uh, a little bit more. But they've cleared 107. Um, and again, very good group composition, which Dr. LON Spirit Barge for the Trash, Support Monk, and the Tragro Lance Necro for the Rift Guardians and Elites, and the Support Barb. So again, that's, that's pretty much top meta uh, stuff. But yeah, the Softcore have cleared 107 and 4 man on the Xbox One. So that's the soft cores. Let's go on to the hardcore uh, leaderboards with the hardcore solos. So let's start with the wizards. And this is what I love about the, the different platforms, different builds, different uh, play styles. It's interesting to see that the hydras in hardcore are, are top on the Xbox One. Uh, with three hydras in the top three spots there. And they've cleared uh, a 93 in hardcore. Uh, so the hydras seem more popular at the moment uh, on the Xbox One. The Witch Doctors, um, again, interesting. Only one LON Spirit Barrage with a top spot of an 80, followed all by the Helltooth Gargantian build uh, underneath it. So yeah, an 80 has been cleared in hardcore at the end of week 3 by the Witch Doctors. And the Necros are up to 95, um, and again seem competitive. Wrath of Mages, slightly easier to play than Tragul on hardcore. But they've cleared up to a 95. On Xbox, uh, again, uh, on the Monk, sorry, uh, very interesting that a Raymond Generator on Hardcore, very squishy build, is uh, taking top spot after the end of week 3 with an 87, although the LON LTK is harder to gear for. But yeah, that's very impressive after week 3 that an 87 has been cleared uh, with a Raymond Generator Monk. Uh, again, all Demon Hunters, uh, all in the Demon Hunters is a Shadow and Pale uh, build, uh, and a 95 in in Hardcore, which again is very impressive stuff. I think the Softcore had done a 96, so a 95 in Hardcore is very good. So that is uh, the Demon Hunters. The Crusaders, um, this again to me is very interesting as a PS4 player, because the Hammered and Crusader in Hardcore has done a 96. And that is well above what the PS4 players are doing. So that that player, Jerome, certainly seems to like his Crusader and Hardcore and is pushing very hard at the end of week three. Uh, for instance, so the PS4 players cleared a GR100 at the end of season. Uh, so for to do a 96 in only three weeks, it's hugely impressive. it be interesting to see if he's going to carry that on and see what he can clear. But that, I, I really do like... Um, that dedication to the Crusader and getting 96 after only the third week. The Barbs all leap quick uh, and have cleared an 82 in Hardcore at the end of week 3. So that is the Hardcore uh, solo leaderboards at the end of week 3 for Xbox One. Let's take a look at the Hardcore groups. So let's have a look at the two-man leaderboards. Very interesting stuff. There's no Necro in sight. Uh, top clear is a 96 with Support Monk and Hammerdon. Uh, and again, underneath that, you've got Support Monk and Hammerdon and Support Monk and Shadow and Pale Demon Hunter. So, yeah, no Necros. That's interesting, Xbox One players. Uh, but they're not there in the two man setup. The three man setup uh, is similar 98 cleared with a Support Monk, Support Barb, and a Hammerdon Crusader. And underneath that, the 97 has got a Support Monk, Shadow and Pale, uh, and the Hammerdon. So, Again, no Necros in the top spots there uh, for the three-man setup on Xbox One. The four-man setup has cleared a GR100 uh, with the, the Demon Hunter, Shadow and Pale, Support Monk, Support Barb and the Hammerdon. No Necro once again. So again, I find that very interesting. That uh, Whilst it's still early on in season, of course, you can't really make a comparison that the Xbox One hardcore groups... Um, have outperformed the PS4 hardcore groups right across the board. But it's early season yet. But it's interesting that no Necros there in the top spot. Is that likely to continue? Uh, who knows. So that's the uh, hardcore solos and the groups uh, for the end of week 3 on Xbox One. So now I'm going to bring up on the screen uh, the comparison of the highest clears at the end of week 3 from Xbox One uh, and PS4, as it's quite revealing. So here we have Softcore on the left and Hardcore on the right, with the Xbox One top clear and then the PS4 uh, top clear as well at the end of week three. Uh, and then there's some some revealing stuff. Let's just go through it quickly then. 
on the soft core uh, with the Wizards. On Xbox One they've cleared a GR100 and on PS4 99. So very similar there. The Witch Doctors are exactly the same. They've cleared a 95 each on each console um, at the end of week 3 in soft core. And the Necros showing their power. On Xbox One they've cleared 105 after only 3 weeks and the PS4 on 107. Uh, the Monks in Softcore have cleared a 91 on Xbox One and PS4 on 93. And the Demon Hunters are very similar with a 96 on the Xbox One and a 95 on the PS4. Uh, Crusaders um, uh, doing very well, uh, quite high up after week 3 with a 96 on Xbox One and a 100 uh, on the PS4. Uh, and then the Barbs uh, with a 92 on Xbox One and a 91. Uh, on the PS4. And so onto the group uh, set up for Softcore, uh, Xbox One and PS4 and two man setup have cleared 103 but as I mentioned on Xbox One have done that without the Necro while the PS4 uh, has done it with the Necro. So similar uh, group setup so far uh, in, the te in, the, in the clear in the clears there, GR 103. Three man setup uh, has cleared 105 on Xbox One and 106 uh, on the PS4. And again this one, on uh, the four man group in Softcore have cleared 107 uh, on Xbox One and 115 uh, on PS4. But again as I keep saying it's early season yet, it'll be interesting to see as we get further on into the season I, s I fully expect everything to kind of uh, level up. The hardcore, uh, the Wizards have cleared a 93 in Xbox One and a 94 on the PS4. Uh, Witch Doctors uh, have cleared an 85 on the PS4 and an 80 uh, on the Xbox One so uh, perhaps there's a few more players playing Witch Doctor on the PS4. Uh, Necromancers uh, very similar 95 on Xbox One and 98 uh, on the PS4 and again with the Monks uh, Xbox One has cleared an 87 while the PS4 is clear an 88. And the Demon Hunters in Hardcore, very impressive 95 after only 3 weeks on Xbox One and a 92 on the PS4. Uh, yeah, and Hardcore Crusaders, um, Xbox One uh, has a healthy setup in that manner with a 96 clear after only 3 weeks on Xbox One but on the PS4 it's clear an 89. And the Barbs finally, an 82. Um, and hardcore for the Xbox One and an 86 on the PS4. Now the group set up the comparison um, for hardcore and the two man Xbox has cleared a 96, PS4 has cleared a 94. On the three man it's cleared a 98 on Xbox One and cleared a 96 on the PS4. And the four man set up has cleared a GR100 on Xbox One and it's cleared a GR99 on the PS4. So those are perhaps more hardcore players on Xbox One since they have cleared higher in all three groups. That's interesting. We look forward to seeing that develop as the season goes on. So that's just a quick summary guys on the Xbox One leaderboards for Diablo 3 Season 11 at the end of Week 3. I may do this again. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it every week for Xbox since I don't have one. Um, but I may continue to get some stats from uh, you players and I'm quite happy to uh, put some sort of um, uh, video summary or uh, spreadsheets up on the internet so that people can have a look at them. We would all love a leaderboard website uh, where you could click on and just see uh, in an instance the, the status of um, the leaderboards on a browser without having to go into the game. But sadly Blizzard don't do that with the console version. And I've asked the question if I could get a hold of the data somehow and put a website together that would dynamically update and um, Blizzard haven't answered me on that. So that's a shame. But there you go guys, that's the status for the Xbox One uh, leaderboards at the end of week 3. I'm Homer Genic and I'm Ari.